just looking at it this morning. Yeah, you look pretty good. It suddenly got thicker and pink. So that's kind of strange. Yeah, there's some pink right in there. It's hard to see maybe on camera. I can see it pretty good, I guess. I'm, I'm seeing it. Looks pretty pink to me. Yeah. I guess it's that rusty time. Yeah, keep saying it. I didn't need it till this morning. Though. Yeah. This video has a certain uh, je ne sais quoi, ça y est. Here is a Francis uh, Coppola, uh, 2019 rose, here with the four rose petals. No, 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 I'll read it to you. Dramatic style, vibrant packaging, and fruit forward. Smooth wines are the signatures of our Francis Coppola Diamond Collection. Our rose petals, strawberries, and earthy minerality of Italian blood oranges on the nose. Juicy flavors of red berries and a hint of natural acidity elevates the aromatics, creating a bright, refreshing wine that is very versatile with food like chicken or oysters. All right, now you understand the complex flavor, okay? That's why I do things like this. Soy sauce. Moving on. All right, so what I'm doing here is I got big old juicy chicken breasts, all hot and frozen or whatever. And so I'm doing wine chicken. I hate to say it like that. All right, so we got Australian sea salt because, dude, you have to read on the Costco uh, Kirkland brand sea salt. It says in the Arctic chilly waters or something between. <laughs> um, Australia and, and and Antarctica or whatever, and I'm like, yeah, um, do you know how many waters there are between those two places? Wine chicken? Anyone? Wine chicken, wine chicken, wine chicken, wine chicken, you know what I'm saying? Do it to the beat. Alright, so what I've done is I put some fireweed honey in here. The problem here is, it's the sweetest honey to ever exist, apparently. It's sweeter than orange blossom. So, I have this monk fruit extract drops. And I'm going to flavor, try both of them, and see which one's sweeter. Because this is concentrated. It says 23 times sweeter than sugar. So we're going to find out if this honey is 23 times sweeter than any type of stupid table sugar corn syrup you know all that baloney all right <clears throat> first we'll try a little bit of monk fruit don't try this at home people instead do it at the strip club hmm, two drops when it, when it hits the um, uvula it feels like it's like shrinking and contracting you know and a horrible like overload that's pretty sweet all right both drops hit right in the uvula. They're like, and I was like, whoa, <clears throat> precision. Here's the problem it's like there's a caramel coating to the sweetness. So like it envelops your mouth so pleasantly that it almost like, because it's fireweed, it's hot. So like in honey form, it like heats your mouth into like your gums. I don't know. So it's so hotly sweet that I would say it's, it's sweeter than that. But because of like the heat factor, which is bizarre. Mm, that's something you gotta think about. Like, 
what is the technical definition of what's the sweetest? Hmm. Once you get into temperatures, hmm. New science in the kitchen. Well, that's for later. Right now, it's wine chicken. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta pick our spices for the wine chicken. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. If we had rose petals off of our rose bushes, which we it's not quite ready for that yet. Yeah, I know. I do have some Indian rose water. I don't know. That's so strong. Is that that's not even intended for cooking? I don't even think. Yeah, but we're already doing wine chicken, so like, if I dribble some drops of that in there, it's from India, you know. It's the stuff that's like spicy, aromatic, whatever they grow the roses in spice. And so, like, you're supposed to use it for like, you know, cleaning your backside and like stuff when you got like health problems so it's uh... real powerful i'll just do a couple drops so i think it's sup a ways I, i'll have to get it later but i guess i can show it later on camera anyways oh i don't know about that uh, whatever anyways um you see, here's what I was talking about. Ahmed Rosewater from Ahmadinejad. No, I'm just kidding. All right, we're going to go pick some rusty thyme now. It's from authentic soil, the, you know, old round fender cars. Uh, well, a bunch of them were piled up, and then dirt was covered over them on the mountain over here. So we collect the uh, soil that's, you know, the cars. And it's like real rusty red. It's real sensuous. So we grew some thyme in it so we'd have some rusty thyme. It's real good for the health, you know, if you're a proper big boy, I guess. Check this out. We'll check out my tomato plants. They're big and sensuous. Peppers. Anyway, point is, we're gonna pick some time. It's good to get side runners, like, so you don't have to pick the whole plant. We're gonna put this outside probably this summer. Anyways, the soil is red, you see it's rest soil from claws. It's pretty sensuous. I'm gonna grate this garlic clove that I cut in half and remove the center core from in two pieces here with this grater. As you can see there's already a little bit of material on it because I've already grated one teaspoon a teaspoon about you know, this big of garlic and put it in the chicken mix. So I'm going to uh, mix some more of that until it fills this teaspoon relatively to the, you know, surface level. And then I'm going to put it in there. Yeah! Oh. So uh, there's the chicken on the fire. Cooking with desire. Putting the sauce back on there. Saucy. Oh damn, son. Getting all on the flames, all sensuous like Jesus. Ooh, those smokes smell good now. Smoky smokes. Yeah, look at that. That, that all that on that rocks. All sensual, smoking off. Yeah, right. That's pretty sensual. Sorry about that interruption. The smoke blew back into me so hard that I kind of lost focus of what I was doing. Yeah. Mostly. Mostly fruit wood. Yeah. Green fruit wood. 
cooking slowly. Nicely. Using green fruit wood on top so that it really steams the heat of the fruity woody sap into the uh, big chunks of garlic on top of it and underneath of it. It's going to be so tasty. I'll flip it in a little bit. I guess I can flip it now. No, I'm supposed to wait two more minutes. Boy, it sort of sizzle nice, that green sap. It smells so good. Like burning chlorophyll. Uh, here it is, still being cooked. And here it is on top. We flipped it once. You can see the sauce sort of running into there. It's uh, of course not done yet, but uh, it's it's uh, cooking. My brother's gonna get a knife and cut into it to get it crispy in the insides. So you really get it cooked good, you gotta like cut into it, you know? That's what I've learned from cooking meat for a year. Start to pick up things. You kinda wanna go with how it naturally peels and find the where it goes into the meat and like, there'll be points that are harder to cut to and you don't wanna cut past them and just to the where it's easy. It's like that's hard to cut there, so you just kind of tease it out. And you can kind of just find where the flesh lies and cut through it. See, I found there's another layer there. See, I'm using a, uh, a balancing whatever so it doesn't move around or you don't, get, you don't mess up when you can use both hands at once. Always use both hands when working with hot stuff. One for, you know, balancing. Like, for example, you can switch it up. A lot, some people want to use their whatever hand. They want to switch it, you know. But anyways. Let's put a little bit of pineapple on there. And then we'll let that sit for a minute. And put this some more of this on there. Herbal wine mix. I think I'm gonna try to uh, a few glazed drops of this monk fruit extract. See what that's like. Should be pretty uh, crystalline towards the end of the process. It'll be pretty tasty. I think. You know, awesome thing. Yeah. Stephen Raiklin. Yeah, I don't like it when he cooks uh, actual pork. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. That's that's pretty disgusting. I've seen lately people working off the pork flesh. It's nasty. Yeah, you don't want that in your diet. It's so hard to get rid of it. it. Really, really, you should be eating warthog, and even then you shouldn't be eating that. Yeah, All right, let's juice flip these suckers. In there. Real nice. Let's flip these mooders. These delicious little sandwich toppings over here. Flip. Flip it and zip it. Whatever that means. There we go. See, it'll get too tough on the outside, and then the inside will be too pink still. So you gotta cut these babies, you know? They won't cook evenly otherwise. Otherwise, you'll be a snoodly snodgrass, you know? I 
I've got these center blocks too wide apart. It's almost falling off. I gotta be careful. Yeah. And I'll fix it next time. Don't be a fool like me. Sometimes you want to get a little bit of cross cutting in there. You can kind of stab a little. It's the can, same concept with uh, you know to think of a stake or something. Right. You want cross hatching. You want cutting. You yeah. want the same basic concept. You just want to make sure it's evenly cooked. See, this one's a little more tender than the other one, actually. This chicken, you know, had more, more tender breasts, you know? More tender breasts, more tender days. Yep. Tender glaze. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, pour that rose wine, uh, garlic, uh, thyme. That was grown in rust and... Oh, it's uh, got all kinds of good stuff. You have your there. Melissa and your... Uh, what else we got in there? Uh, well, rosemary, of course. That's all you need, you know? Yep. Let's tenderize this baby mar. This one's getting more tender. I don't need as much on that one. Throw a fine juicy log on there to really heat it up and get it cooking. Here we go, boys. I'll put it over here a ways because the breeze will really blow it. That's about right. This will get going here. Look at these mushrooms on there. You know, you know, you want some of those fungi cells, you know, flaming up into your meats. That'll make you digest it real good. This is see, this is good intestinal lining type stuff. Face it, people are gross. This is just how natural it is. Watch out for the smoke, it'll knock you out. That's some flavorful smoke in the eyeballs, ouch. Put a little bit of that on there. Flip it over, we'll put the lid on there. Go and flip. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. It's getting real tender. It, we might be able to use this for legal tender, you know? It's so tender. Damn, that's tender. That's pretty tender. Alright. I'll apply my 32 times 32 time sugar level sweetener. We're trying to kill people is the point here, okay? This is a death meal. In the days of thunder, in the thunder. Check this out. The green wood is steaming out its uh, fruit sauce. It's almost hot. Some of it is. It's like 100 degrees coming out of there. It smells so good. <sighs> Gotta watch it. There's a hot point right here. That The middle point is hot, but a wet point isn't. But this point it is. Whew, pork gets hot. Hmm. This smells pretty good. Yeah, it smells real good. Montage flash. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Looks pretty good. Looks yeah, pretty... you want to get that nice caramel, sandy, you know, tan brown, you know, at the edges, and you know it's done. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll take it in and eat it with our rice and our crock pots. 
All right, now remember the chicken that we cooked, the breast. I was smoking it. It's not fully cooked. You see, it's maybe brown, but that's just from the smoking and the heat. But it needs like a while in the crock pot still. So we're going to put it in here with the uh, delicious crock pot foods here. Cook it into the night for a few more hours. It's really sizzling good. It's going to be delicious. All right, here I go. I'll pour it in on camera. Be multi dexterous -ish. Whatever. Eventually it's got to slide. There we go. Hooray. Oh, that hurts. Okay. There we go. Then I'll use my other hand. It doesn't hurt. We'll mix it in. Get it all deep in there so it cooks good. All right, there we go. I got it all tucked in there. And we'll let that cook for another couple hours. And everything will be super seductively soft and all the water will be boiled away. So it's a finished dish. And then I'll eat some. I guess I'll show that on camera.